I know, there's only 42 days since Ivora Prime Access launched, so this is almost the halfway point because Ivora's Prime Accessories will be around for 90 days. 42 of which have already ended. By the time I've put this up, 43? Because I do believe this is tomorrow. Not today, because I've already done today's video. I haven't uploaded it, but yeah, so 43 days. It's almost halfway to the 90. I only pick these up when I need them. Of course you will get... Huh. Oh yes, we have to actually go and buy this thing, don't we? Now... I will throw this out there because I've had this a few times. This is not a paid promotion. I pick up the Prime accessories every time. Of course, we'll also admit I have missed two, I think it is now, because I only pick these up when my boosters run out. As you noticed before, my boosters should last until maybe the next Prime turns up because I picked up the last Prime access late and I don't think I even did a video on that. I'm only doing this because, well, there's Ayatan armor, a new Sandana, and of course, if we go back in, pause that, now the 90 day boosters are there. Credit booster and affinity booster. Do not ask me why my affinity booster is, is at 190 days. I've tried to make sense of this. I think uh, there was once it expired, and I didn't want to pick up the next Prime Access, or it wasn't out yet, so I bought some Affinity Boosters, and yeah, now I regret it. But I don't just buy it for the these things. Yes, they are very helpful if you play the game a lot. If you don't, it's the accessories. The accessories are what we are all here to say, because in all theory, look really nice. If... I could even remember the name of them. Is it that one? I will have to double check this. Yes it is. I've done this in the past and I've had to go back in and record these because I've put on the wrong sandana, but clearly it's this one. There is just something about it that looks really nice. Obviously, better look at it. The gold matches well, the colours are obviously for Ivora Prime, the standard colours of it because it comes with Ivora Prime. I just, I cannot get over the fact that the bits that dangle off the back of it, not the gold bits, the energy colour bits, that match the skirt, don't match the skirt. The colours are, well, the bottom of it almost matches, as you can see where it goes through. It's this big bit in the middle. Doesn't seem to match the skirt. That's weird. And I don't know why that is what my mind is fixated on when, yeah. There's a lot of physics in this sandana. All the gold bits actually move and it looks... I like that one actually. It goes really, 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 really well with her. If we jump back into the arsenal, go to appearance, attachments. Now for the fun part, the Naja Ayatan attachments. Because, finally, the return of moving armor attachments. Wow. This is actually the first time I have seen these. I'm not disappointed. I see what they've done and how they've done it. But damn. That actually looks pretty nice. I did not expect that at all. I thought it was just going to be some weird bits that move... Well, look at the left side of the screen right now and all of the Ayatan sculptures there that all move in weird ways. This just has this... I can't explain it aspect to it. As you can see, they're just sliding along in their housing for the shoulder plate, the chest plate, same thing, but sliding around the gold bit that sticks out. But it's the fact that you don't have to do something weird, like channel your energy to get them to work, like some of the other ones do. They just work. And they constantly work. Though, uh, no, I was about to say it is. That bottom one is slightly out of order from the rest of them. 
You see they're all going back as that one reaches its peak. Is the other side exactly the same? A little bit. Nope, it's not. You can see it more now, that bottom one, the way it should be, versus that. It is just slightly out of sync. And that is just being re... Oh, it's, it's kind of getting into sync. It, that just... That's a loading issue. That is not a bug with this. But, yeah. I do not... At all... Wow. I'm actually uh, thrown by this. I do not regret picking this up in the slightest. That, mixed with the Sandana... The boosters are useful, again, if you play the game a lot, but for the prime accessories, yeah, it has to be, hands down, the accessories that win this, because, well, there's no getting around it. Especially with that thing in the top right of the screen moving around. That, I like that. I like that. A lot, actually. Do I have any that move in here? A few. Not many. Because I stopped putting them up. Oh, there they are. That's the remnants of that little alcove bit. The bridge. These are the bits that were in the middle. The ones moving on this side. But they are support. It is an Ayatan based armor set. And it looks really nice. It's all down to the, if you look at the chest and actually watch it, they are timed from left to right. The symmetry is really well done. The shoulder pads aren't going at the same time, which to be fair, while you were looking over the shoulder here, that would annoy you. But also, looking from the back, which is where you will look at your Warframe the most, they are, you can still see that they are moving. A lot of the time, attachments and other things, all you see is the shoulder plates. That's why I don't bother putting on the leg plates or the chest plates a lot of the time. And I keep saying the chest plates look nice, but they are kind of... They are good for some things, but the rest of the time you never get to see these because obviously you are playing from this angle. So you don't get to see it, apart from that odd occasion where you are running away but as soon as you aim to shoot at something bang all you see is the shoulder pads so the fact that that is going off in your face and you can see it even when aiming down scope yeah okay uh, uh, my eyes are just instantly drawn to the shoulder the attachments the sandana everything goes really well the Sandana now matches the skirt because for some reason that blue color just looks so much better. Oh, I I am not taking them off. They are now a permanent fixture because uh, look at them. They just suit her so well. And as an actual armor attachment, yeah, I don't think there's been a nicer one simply because this moves even without having to channel energy or bullet jump or things like that that sometimes sets off some of the other stuff. This just does it normally, which is probably one of my favourite things about this. But we've gone on about the Prime accessories long enough here that well, let's leave this off here. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.